As the new Keeper of Time, I was overwhelmed by my responsibilities. Who was I to design the destinies of mortals? As their protector, I had spent eons safeguarding them. But while I had grown to appreciate mortals deeply, I understood precious little about their daily existence. So I used the hourglass to live hundreds of thousands of lifetimes, to span the possibilities of realm, race, gender, and faith. Most importantly, I learned the simple joy of ending each day in a warm embrace of family. Humbled by my new wisdom, I bend the arc of history, not to my will, but to the service of those who must live it. While it is beyond my power to guarantee outcomes, I will give mortals the chance to have better, more peaceful lives. Of course I defeated Kronika, and when I did, there was only one thing I wanted to do with the Hourglass. Undo the defeat of my ancestor, the Great Kung Lao. In my timeline, the Great Kung Lao is the undisputed Mortal Kombat champion. Earthrealm never loses another tournament. For generations, his example inspires millions to join the White Lotus Society and defend Earthrealm. They, in turn, inspire rebels to overthrow Shao Kahn in Outworld. The realms make peace. Until, inevitably, a more powerful enemy comes along and finds Earthrealm backed by Kung Lao, immortal lord of time and warrior supreme. Beat that, Liu Kang. What does it mean to wield the sands of time? To be the chosen one? It means making choices that break your heart. For the protection of all, I shared Kronika's power with the people I trust and love most. Together, we replaced the Elder Gods that Cetrion had betrayed and became eternal guardians of the realms. Still, my heart longs for a simpler life. A kind one cannot have being the Chosen One, let alone an Elder God. What Kitana and I would not give for those simple pleasures. Hmm. Perhaps in another timeline, they could be ours. Kronika had manipulated me. In timeline after timeline, she stoked my anger and fed my arrogance, turning me against Liu Kang. My nose rubbed in my own fallibility. I was humbled. How could I be worthy to accept the mantle as Keeper of Time? I thought that to control time and destiny fairly, I must purge myself of all human emotion. Summoning the strongest magic, I burned away my fear and anger. All that remained was pure logic. But I learned quickly that the logical choice is often not the just choice. Unless tempered by compassion and heart, logic leads to decisions no better than those based on anger or fear. Now I am once more at time's beginning. But on this journey through history, I will infuse logic with love. In this timeline, I will finally achieve peace for the citizens of all realms. <laughs> <laughs>